Welcome to the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, founder of the Reiki Business Collective and creator of the Build Your Reiki Business Program, sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Greetings, welcome, and thanks so much for tuning in. It's Christian of Standing Stones Healing. Honored to have you here for another episode of the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. In this week's episode, we're talking about getting unstuck in your Reiki business. But first, I do want to make sure to mention that it is the last call for getting on the wait list for the Build Your Reiki Business program. The program is opening for enrollment again. But before it does, everyone on the wait list will have the opportunity to join at a special rate before the program opens. You can learn more and get on the wait list at standingstoneshealing.com slash build. Thank you. On our Reiki business journey, we all have points where we feel stuck, where we feel that maybe things aren't moving forward in the way that we would like them to. Maybe that stuckness in our business looks like um, we don't have any clients or we're not sure how to uh, create and launch a course, or maybe we're feeling like we want to offer something new and different in our business, but we're, we're just not sure what that might be. Or maybe we are sure what it might be, but we just don't know how to move forward with it. We can feel stuck in our Reiki business in all different kinds of ways. And so often when we have these stuck moments, we maybe first of all forget that this is actually a natural and normal thing. And so I first want to encourage us that when we have feelings of being stuck in our Reiki business. We're not sure how to move forward or we feel like things aren't moving forward. I want to first encourage us to honor and recognize that this is actually a completely normal thing. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I feel stuck in my Reiki business or have feelings of stuckness, I might forget, number one, that um, it's something that is completely normal, not only in business, but also in life, that we all have stuck points on our journey and we all have points when we feel stuck. And I also might forget that number two, I've been there before. Because feelings of stuckness are so natural and normal, I think it's important for us to recognize that, yes, we have been there before. And um, not only on our life journey, but probably also on our Reiki business journey as well. I remember feeling stuck in terms of uh, how do I even figure out how to start a business? How does that even work? What are the steps? And even though, of course, we know that we just need to move forward and uh, figure some things out, we can feel stuck in a certain spot, in a certain position, and be unsure of how to move forward. And so that happened at that point on my Reiki business journey. Then I had stuck feelings again when I was like, oh, what do I do about um, this course that I taught in the past, but I kind of let it go by the wayside and I'm not sure. Do I bring it back? How do I bring it back? Oh, I feel kind of stuck about that question uh, on my Reiki business journey. Of course, it didn't stop me from moving forward in other ways on my Reiki business journey. And so I think it's also important to note that we can feel stuck in one aspect of our Reiki business, but we don't feel stuck in our Reiki business itself per se. Um, But we might feel stuck in one aspect or we might have one part of our Reiki business where we're just not sure how to proceed. 
So when it comes to feeling stuck in our Reiki business, I first want to encourage us to honor and acknowledge that this is an extremely normal place to be, that it is so absolutely normal that um, I think we even forget just how normal it is. So let's all first honor, acknowledge, and admit that we all have felt stuck on our Reiki business journey and that if we don't feel stuck in any particular aspect of our Reiki business journey right now, that we will indeed at some point in the future and again and again feel stuck in our Reiki business. When we have feelings of stuckness, there are a few things that I want to encourage us to consider. And number one, I want to encourage us to consider exactly what it is we mean when we say we feel stuck. Because stuckness can and does show up as an infinite number of things, what's really important for us in our Reiki business when we're feeling some stuck feelings, that we get very clear on what exactly we feel stuck on or feel stuck about, and that we name that stuckness so that we have a a good reflection, we have a good sit down with ourselves and reflect, what am I feeling stuck about in my Reiki business? Where am I feeling stuck? What is at the center of this stuckness? What is this all about? And we can even do some deeper reflection in terms of what does the stuckness look like? So if the stuckness was a thing, What shape would it take? What would it look like? What color would it be? What would it taste like? And to really look at our stuckness in some creative ways to help us dig below the surface of those stuck feelings and to get at what really lies at the heart of it to gain a better understanding of what it's all about in order to help us move forward and get unstuck. So when we feel those feelings of stuckness, rather than just saying, oh, I feel stuck. Oh, I'm so stuck. Oh, I feel feel stuck. Let's take a step back, take a deep breath, and really reflect and sit in that stuckness and really reflect on what that is all about. So in other words, let's let's take a very mindful, Reiki-like approach to our stuckness. The next thing I want to encourage us to do when we are feeling stuck in our Reiki business is to recognize that feeling stuck is actually a good thing. Yes, indeed, I believe that feeling stuck is a good thing. We think of feeling stuck as a bad thing. Oh, I feel so stuck. I don't know how to move forward. I don't know how to deal with this particular client who's giving me challenges. I don't know how to deal with getting more clients. I don't know how to deal with this course that I'm thinking of launching, but I just don't know how. We have a tendency to think that feeling stuck is a bad thing, that it signals that something is wrong, that we need to fix it, that there's a problem, and we just can't move forward, and we need to do what we need to do to get unstuck and move forward. But what if feeling stuck is not a bad thing? What if feelings of stuckness are actually a good thing? What if feelings of stuckness are information for us and a signal? I believe that feelings of stuckness are a signal, and they are a signal that are saying to you in your Reiki business and indeed in your life that it is time to grow, it is time to expand, it is time for newness, new energy, and expansion in our Reiki business. Because I believe that if we weren't ready to grow and expand, if we weren't ready for newness, 
we wouldn't feel stuck. I like to think of it as a seed. I'm a gardener. I like to garden. And when I plant seeds down under the ground um, and I look at the ground, there's nothing happening above the ground. I look down at the ground when I plant a seed and there's nothing going on. And so it looks like nothing is happening. But if you look down below the surface, indeed things are happening. And what's happening below the surface is that seed. It is getting ready to expand and grow out of its shell. And if the seed wasn't feeling uncomfortable, if it wasn't growing too big for its shell, it would not be growing and expanding. And so the seed, before it cracks open, the seed feels stuck. The seed is pressing up against its edges, its hull, and it's saying, this is too small. You know, the, um, the bud is, is uh, ready to burst forth. And it's saying, I can't contain myself in this little space anymore. This space is too small. I've got to bust out. And so the seed before it cracks open must feel stuck. It must feel like it can't move forward. It must feel like it isn't able to move forward. It must feel contained and stuck. And so I like to think of it the same way in our Reiki business, that when we feel stuck in our Reiki business, it's a sign. It's a sign that we are ready to grow we are ready to expand. And that shell that we are in has just grown too small for us. And it is time for new energy. It is time to grow and expand. It's time to level up when we feel the feelings of stuckness. And so I don't believe that feelings of stuckness are a bad thing. I think that they are a sign, they are a signal, that it is indeed time for us to grow and expand, to try new and different things, to level up in our Reiki business, whatever it means to you in your own Reiki business and whatever that looks like, it's time for growth and expansion when we feel the stuck feelings. And so I believe stuck feelings are not a bad thing. They are not something to be feared. They are indeed something to be embraced and to be celebrated as a sign, a signal that you're ready to grow, just like the seed is ready to grow and bust out of its shell. Now, like I mentioned, whenever you plant a seed and you put it down under the ground, it can look like when you look at the ground that nothing is happening because all of the action is taking place under the surface in unseen kinds of ways. I believe this is the same thing that happens for us when we feel stuck. It might look like things are not moving forward for us. It might look like nothing is happening. And so I might, in, at a point in my Reiki business, be pulling my hair out and saying, I have no clients, no one is coming in, nothing is happening. I'm so stuck. And it looks like nothing is happening. But that's because we're looking at it on the surface. And that if we look at it below the surface, we might recognize that actually things are moving. Maybe they're moving in an energetic kind of way that we can't see. Maybe things are moving forward in ways that exceed our reach or exceed our vision. And so just like the seed is growing under the ground before the proof of it springs forth and breaks through the soil, so too in our Reiki business, things are often moving in unseen ways. I'll give you an example of this. Let's say that someone gets the Reiki biz kit and they go through the Reiki biz kit and they're like, wow, this is lots of great information. This is so helpful. This is awesome. I'm just not sure if I'm ready to start my Reiki business yet. 
Maybe they check out the Build Your Reiki Business program. They think this sounds great, but I just don't know if this is the right time. Now, on the surface, we might look at that and say, well, that person hasn't signed up for the program. Nothing is happening for that person. But in unseen ways, things probably indeed are. They are happening with that person because the seed has been planted as far as the Reiki business. The idea is there. The desire is there. And who knows, maybe in another year, as their own seed of that idea of a Reiki business is sprouting, maybe they are reading my emails, maybe they're tuning into the Build Your Reiki Business podcast, maybe they're taking another look at the uh, Reiki Biz Kit, maybe even checking in on the Build Your Reiki Business program page. And so all that time over the course of a year, if I look at it from my perspective, it looks like nothing is happening because that student, that potential student has not signed up for the Build Your Reiki Business program. But yet things are moving and growing and expanding in unseen ways, ways that I can't see with that potential build your Reiki business member. And who knows, in another year, they may say, you know, hey, a year ago, I got the biz kit. I got on Christian's mailing list. I get his weekly emails about Reiki business stuff. I tune into the podcast. I got a lot of benefit from the biz kit. You know, that build your Reiki business program sounds interesting. The Reiki business collective is a great place for encouragement. I think I can do this too. Gosh, darn it. I'm going to sign up for the build your Reiki business program. And then boom, there you go. That person is now a member of the build your Reiki business program, and they're getting all kinds of support in that program. And so if I looked at it from the surface, from my perspective in my Reiki business, I might say, oh, I've put out all of the information about the Build Your Reiki Business program to this particular person. They didn't sign up. Oh, no, Um, nothing's happening. I'm stuck. Well, that's not true at all. Things are simply happening on unseen levels in ways that we cannot see the proof of because the sprout just hasn't busted through the surface. And so on our Reiki business journey, when it seems like things aren't moving forward, when it seems like things aren't happening, I think it's very important for us to recognize that we have a very limited vision. When we're looking at the ground, we can't see what's happening underneath. We can only see what's happening above the ground. So too it is with our Reiki business. So how do we get unstuck when we feel stuck in our Reiki business? I do recommend, as I did previously, that deeper reflection. So let's really pause and examine our feelings of stuckness because not all stuckness is created equal. Sometimes we might feel stuck um, about one particular aspect and the next time we might feel stuck on something else those feelings can sometimes be very similar, those stuck feelings, that discontent or that uncertainty, but it has different roots. And so let's dig down and examine those roots first and foremost. Second, I recommend taking some action. Now, when we feel stuck, the action that we take isn't always as important as just simply taking action. What I mean by this is that sometimes when we feel stuck, we can almost feel paralyzed in terms of, I just don't know what's the right thing to do or how to move forward. What's the right action to take? Now, of course, it's okay and it's a good idea to do reflection on this. And yet, I think that we can do so much reflection or even avoid so much reflection that we do nothing. And so it can really help us to get unstuck by simply taking some small, small action. This doesn't have to be big, grand, sweeping action, but something very tiny and small. 
and even the smallest of actions. I want to encourage us not to discount the smallest of the small in terms of actions and to not be afraid to take extremely small action because even the smallest of actions can bring in new and fresh energy, new and fresh ideas, and to help relieve some of those feelings of stuckness. And when I say feelings of stuckness, I do believe that. I believe that stuckness is not so much a reality as it is a feeling. Because remember, things are happening on unseen levels that we don't always realize and can't always see the proof of. And if that's the case, then stuckness is simply a perspective. And feeling stuck is simply a feeling. And that taking some small, small action can help to relieve some of those feelings of stuckness that things aren't moving and that things aren't pushing forward in the ways that we might want them to and in the ways in which we feel we aren't getting the proof of. So I want to encourage us to take some small, small action no matter how small it might be. You know, there's so much to say about stuckness, about getting unstuck, and about moving forward. I can't say all there is to say on a single podcast episode, but I do have resources on this topic. I'll drop some links down below for you, including a link to my Three Signs It's Time for a Spiritual Upgrade workshop, links to a couple of uh, videos on my YouTube channel, and a link to my Growth Month program. My Growth Month program, standingstoneshealing.com slash growth, is really designed to help us get unstuck and move forward. It's a program that is available every spring with the season. Now, of course, some of you tuning in are not experiencing spring. (laughs) Depending upon where you are in the world, it may not be spring for you, but of course, you are welcome to join the Growth Month program as well. But I love this program because it's a powerful little program for helping us get unstuck, bring in fresh energy, and move forward. I love this program, and uh, I'm excited to share it with you. So indeed, if you are feeling stuck feelings in your Reiki business, it will help you to get moving forward. But are you feeling stuck in your Reiki business? How are you feeling stuck in your Reiki business? Drop it in the comments below and let us know if you're tuning in on YouTube and join us in the Reiki Business Collective and let us know if you are feeling stuck in your Reiki business at facebook.com slash groups slash Reiki biz. I'm sending so many blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business and of course to getting unstuck in your Reiki business. Thanks for tuning in to the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. Please like, share, subscribe, and send to a friend. Learn more about the Build Your Reiki Business program at standingstoneshealing.com slash build. Sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business.